Hey guys, Larry the Tractor Guy here. Hey, I've got a customer that's got an R4030H sprayer, and he's called and reported that he's getting a 2795.07 code that talks about turbo vane position, uh, desired and actual position mismatch. And so we're gonna make a road trip and run down and look at this uh, R4030H sprayer. And we're gonna run a few tests on that and kind of see what, what's going on with that. Now this is one of those uh, nine liter engines with the hydraulic actuated um, turbo. And so we're gonna run a few tests on that. And when we get down there, I wanna show you a few things that I've ran into in the past. And so uh, we'll see you when we get there. We just pulled up here on this R4038 sprayer with the turbo actuator codes. So we're gonna take a look at that real quick and uh see if we can uh see what's going on with it it doesn't look like there's any active codes right now like everything started up and looks like everything's running normal so Tell you what, we're gonna go ahead and uh, hook up and make a live connection uh, with Service Advisor real quick and, and pull the codes up that way and see what's been going on with it. You can see I've got my EDL, or my electronic data link device plugged into the Service Advisor port on the sprayer. And I've got that cable running out to my service truck and plugged into my laptop and I've got a live connection made. And we'll get down here and take a look at that real quick and show you what we got going on here. I can see real fast that we've got a 2795.07 uh, VGT vein desired and actual mismatch code. And it looks like that's happened 33 times. It's got a count of 33. And then also we've got some other codes that are not really related to that. Okay, but we do also have an ECU 1569.31 engine power d-rate code and that's happened 29 times it looks like on the count and so that engine power d-rate code is basically generated from the 2795.07 code it's a result of that of that uh, vgt vein desired and actual mismatch code i'd like to make mention that the engine oil service interval is pretty important when we're dealing with these hydraulic actuated turbos okay and what i mean by that is the turbo actuator is actually controlled with engine oil pressure to move the piston and change the position of the vanes within the turbocharger i get a lot of this information from some other tech friends too and we talk back and forth quite a bit so ross if you're watching this i really appreciate uh, the good information about the engine oil change and then also keevan talked to him quite a bit about this code and and he's seen this several times with the position sensor in the turbo so appreciate that good information uh, from you guys and so real quick i pulled up a picture i'll show you here of the cutaway of the turbo actuator and show you kind of what that looks like on a picture here and so basically We've got a cutout here, and it's a pretty good cutout. So we've got a solenoid valve here, and the solenoid valve opens and closes when the ECU commands a change of the turbo vanes. Okay, and so when it opens, it allows engine oil pressure to go through and move this piston and change the position of the vanes within the turbo. Okay, and so also here we have a position sensor that runs on a cam lobe, and so as this piston moves it turns this cam and then moves this sensor okay and that's what's sending the message back to the engine controller to tell the engine controller that the turbo actually moved to the to the desired position that was commanded by the ecu okay so you can see real quick that there's several things going on here and so we're going to inspect that real quick on the sprayer and look at that turbo and make sure that our piston is traveling the right travel and not getting stuck or binding up or that kind of thing and then also it looks like looking at the sprayer that the solenoid valve itself has been replaced before 
okay and the oil change has been taken care of and so we're really leaning toward this position sensor okay so we're going to take a closer look at that and we'll let you know how that turns out so we've done a quick visual inspection of the turbocharger and as you can see the turbo solenoid valve for the turbo actuator has been replaced before this is our turbo speed sensor cable and then i don't know if you can see very well I'll try to get in there where you can see but right down in that area right there is our position sensor okay and looks like it's never been looked at very closely so we're gonna go ahead and get back on service advisor and run a quick harness test on the engine and see if we generate any codes that way just to kind of give us a pretty quick test on the engine controller and or the engine wiring harness okay so it looks like it did not generate any codes during the harness test so we're going to go ahead and get out of that and go back to our diagnostic steps here and one of the things i noticed in diagnostics is that when we were looking at that code it is a 2795.07 bgt vein desired an actual mismatch code okay and so when we look that up it actually leads us to the engine manual takes us to the engine manual and tells us to troubleshoot that code using the 641.07 code in the engine manual so we went to the engine manual and looked up that code and kind of went that direction real quick and it gave us a pretty good component location of the vgt vane position sensor and then also the actuator and kind of looked down through that real quick looked at the wiring harness and it looks like we've got 16 steps there to troubleshoot or to go down through 16 different steps to take a look at that okay and so we did that we kind of looked at that looked at software uh done a quick uh, vgt actuator check and uh looked at that we're gonna go ahead and remove the cap off of the piston and we're going to go ahead and see if we can move that that piston in and out to the to the range that it's calling for here in diagnostics and make sure that that's not sticking so we'll show you that up on the engine here in just a few moments i've got the piston removed the piston cut cap removed from the turbocharger piston there if you can kind of see that so that piston when you push that piston in okay it's spring loaded from the back side to return that piston so when you push it in it should take about 45 pounds to push it in and it should move in somewhere around 10 millimeters okay so we're gonna go ahead and i usually just use the i usually just use the bottom end of my ratchet here to push the piston in and i'm gonna try to get the camera here where you kind of see so i'm gonna push that piston in okay real quick here so i'm pushing it in i'm letting it out pushing it all the way in okay holding it all the way in letting it out and i've got some help over in the pickup in the service truck looking at service advisor so we can read the range of that in the service advisor to see the voltage on the position sensor okay and so we're going to take a look at that real quick and see what our voltage range was it looks like the piston is moving in 10 millimeters and it's returning just fine so i don't think we have a problem with the turbo sticking so okay. we're going to go take a look at service advisor and see what our read my help reported back that it was right at around 3.6 okay so that might be just a little bit short of the full range of travel so we're going to go ahead and i've talked to the customer and we're gonna go ahead and change that sensor. And I really think that what's happening is is that sensor's got an intermittent problem or maybe a wiring harness problem from the sensor over to where it plugs into the engine harness. So we'll take a look at that as we remove the yeah, sensor. So we've got our sensor here removed from the turbo, the vane position sensor. And looks okay, the little harness that plugs in looks looks fine but we're going to go ahead and put the new sensor on at the customer's request since it is a long ways away and pretty long drive we're going to go ahead and replace that put that on and 
keep in mind that sensor is really really tough to get to as I showed you earlier and so this uh, one inch crow's foot on a ratchet works pretty good to remove that sensor without having to take a lot of things apart on the top of the engine so keep that in mind if you're replacing this sensor that a one inch crow's foot crow's foot wrench there that fits on the end of a 3 8 extension works really really good so we're going to go ahead and put the new sensor in and we'll go ahead and run a quick test on that position and service advisor again read our voltage and kind of think this problem is somewhat intermittent and i've seen that before actually with this position sensor having an intermittent uh, failure okay and so we're going to put a new sensor in it return it to the field and see what happens we've replaced the turbo actuator sensor that reads the vane position the position okay. sensor and so i've pulled up in service advisor under my readings tab and pulled up the actual the desired positions and then also the vane position input voltage so i'm gonna start a quick recording it's another little quick trick in service advisor that works pretty handy um, so i'm gonna create a recording and then go up and manually move the piston in the actuator and then come back and replay my recording and look at my vol voltage range and then also my actual and desired percentage okay, guys, so we set up our recording and service advisor and started our recording went up to the machine moved the turbo actuator piston in and let it return out uh, about three times while we were recording and then we came back down stopped our recording and went and looked at our recording and played it back okay and so when we played it back we did notice that the vane position moved nice and slowly up to 100 percent and then also our voltage position voltage changed from 0 0.8 up to 4.0 which puts us in spec according to service advisor and so i really think that we've probably fixed the problem with the ecu 2790 5.07 code that we were getting on this machine and uh like i've mentioned before the solenoid valve for the turbo turbo actuator has previously been replaced um, the oil has been changed in the machine so we've kind of followed up with that and so we're going to return this machine back to the field and let the customer run it for a while and see that how things turn out make sure that we eliminated all of our codes and so i hope some of the tricks and tips today helped you uh, really thank you for watching and uh, we'll check in with you soon larry the tractor guy signing out